that this land was my ancestors' land. My great grandpa and my great uncles had a dairy farm here. And I found out the other day that they actually created these, I guess with a tractor. This used to be a, a, a gullied out pasture. And so they came in here and, and made it to where it would hold water and retain, retain the soil. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I was kind of proud of that. Yeah. So I just want to share with you guys our um, one of our grazing plans for this year. So we have a, a field um, over on the other side of our property that we uh, that my family has allowed us to use and to uh, upkeep. Um, so we we run our sheep through. Uh, in the past couple years, we've used it as uh, winter grazing. And so we just turn them out in the winter and then bush hog it in the summer because the, uh, the grass wasn't very productive. Um, but this year we are going to um, use it a little more during the summer and rotate our sheep through the pasture. So I want to kind of draw out what our plan is and then we'll take you over to the field and uh, show you what it actually looks like. Looks like. So um, the whole thing is about seven acres and this is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> um, so here is um, a gate that leads back to um, basically our house through the woods. So there's a little trail through the woods that we made and it comes back over here and, and connects with the pastures here at our house and so I can easily move them through the woods uh, back and forth. Um, but anyway, uh, last year they had access to the entire seven acres, no separation. Uh, I wasn't able to move them. Uh, there's no water over here, so uh, about once a week I have a uh, I have to take water to them. There's a like an old bathtub that I put out here, and I fill it up once a week. Um, but this year I'm going to run water um, to this field, and we're also going to separate. Uh, separated into paddocks so um, this whole field is downhill from our water tank uh, we have a, a thousand gallon water tank up on the hill above our house which is back here and I'm going to run a pipe down to feed this property but uh, anyway I'm trying to follow the lay of the land and so when we go over there you'll see that this land is, is fairly uh, hilly it's up and down it's actually some terraces that were created by my uh, family members uh, I recently found out. So uh, before that the land was gullied and it had um, places, deep valleys where water was running through but they, they uh, used the tractor and made some terraces and, and was able to hold some water and some soil up, up higher. So I'm trying to follow the lay of the land so the first dividing uh, fence will go somewhat like this. Um, our uh, netting is 164 feet long and so this distance is approximately 164 feet, really about 160 feet to allow a little bit of wiggle room. And then the second paddock uh, well maybe I should do this first. So this area right here is a wooded area. All of this is wooded. <coughs> so our second paddock is going to go something like this. Or our second, uh, I guess I should call it a permanent fence. And then our water lines uh, will go and follow that. So there will be a water line that goes all the way to approximately here and then there will be another one that tees off here and goes to about right there. Um, there will be a, a 
gate right here. There will be a gate right here. A gate here. So at the beginning of the season when the, the uh, grass starts growing, we will start dividing this into paddocks. And so this will be paddock one, there's a little strip of uh, forage and then the wood lot and then we'll just continue on with paddocks. So this will be day two, day three, day four and this width will be determined based on the grass growth. So uh, in the middle of spring when the grass is really growing, it may only be this wide and they'll be in this little section here for one day. So uh, that width is determined on the grass. And so once we get over here, I put a gate here so that I can let them into this paddock and I'll close this off and this will be paddock one, two, three, four, and so on. So once we get here, I'll probably just let them be in the wood lot. That'll be a, a full paddock. And also this little section, I can bring the netting around and section that off for a day. And then it'll start over and the whole rotation will go again. Um, another option we have is to subdivide the woodlot into paddocks and run pigs through the woodlot. Because I, I will have water here and I could you know, easily set up a hog nipple waterer at each one and then feed them every day. Um, so um, anyway, another tool that I use to uh, determine all of this uh, as far as dis distances and uh, total length of fencing and water lines is uh, Google Earth. So I pulled up uh, this plot of land in Google Earth and I could easily measure from the water tank all the way down and get a, a total length of water line needed and then a total length of fencing needed determine how much it was going to cost to do this project. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We'll see. I can't wait to see how how much this benefits this pasture by moving them every day. Um, I know we noticed a huge difference in the animals last year moving them through the yard. So this will be the first large-scale pasture rotation that we've done. So, um, you know, we just drew it out on paper, what we wanted the paddock rotation to look like. But this is the actual land that we're doing it on. We're going to start down there and uh, I'm going to try to come this way and then that way. Let's see, <laughs> our first major rotational project. This is a rotational grazing project. <laughs> Last year we moved them around the yard, which is pretty easy. And this is the same thing, it's just the larger scale. Yeah. Are ready? So we, the first thing we got to do is measure uh, from the permanent fence, the permanent perimeter fence, we have to measure 164 feet. Another permanent fence over here that's the length of the netting away so that we can move the netting this way every day. That makes sense? Yeah. It made sense on paper to me. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, put the end of it on the fence. No, just hold it there. 
Hey, Rosebud. Hey. Hey, Rosie. Daddy, is he gonna mess with us? Okay. Does this look semi-square? Stella, can you walk over there? You see these these posts. You see these posts right here. There's a bunch of them. All in. Look over here, Stella. Straight that way. There's a bunch over there next to the woods. You see them standing up. Can you go over there and get those. Yeah. All right, walk this way. You see him, baby? What? Do you see him near the woods? No. Can you get him? You're a strong girl. There you go. You look armed and ready for fence work. Right. I brought that one all the way to here. And I could run the fence netting that way, kind of across it. Right. That might. It's hard. When you picture it, you want it to be square, but it's never going to work out like that. Right. Yeah. Right. I guess it'll work there. It's just gonna have a I just have to use one of these in the in the valley. in the dip, yeah. Or maybe a couple of them to keep it tight. Right. You just have to try it. If it doesn't work when you do something different. Yeah. Another thing that I'm going to do is run. We've got the water tank on the hill behind Mr. Keith's house, and it pumps out of our well at the house up to that tank, and then it feeds back down that way for the garden and those pastures. Mm -hmm. And we'll run a pipe. From there all the way over to here and then down pretty much under this fence and it'll have connections every probably like two or three hundred feet for a water hose so that I can hook up anywhere and run a little shorter hose to instead of dragging hose all over the place I'll have a permanent water line okay Sid bring it back this way Well, before you do that, walk over to the gate. Yeah. They like my tape measure. It's pretty good. Probably works better. What? Than any sort of tape measure. I'm telling you, mine only has inches. <laughs> See, here's an inch. There's another inch. <laughs> there's an inch. <laughs> Okay, bring it back this way. I'll just have to figure out that little dip with some post. Yeah. Because you know it's going to be in the middle of two posts in the netting. Right. <laughs> Maybe not. This part right here was where that man plowed. He just plowed this section right here. Yeah. And this is the most weedy section. 
section in the main place. Yeah. It's where all the thistles and all of the, I think it's called dog fennel, the tall green stuff that's, it's like a tree or something. Yeah. That's where all, it all grows right here and the rest and around it is all grass. Okay, now take it on the other side of that So I, I guessed that this was about the right distance. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. But I used Google Earth to measure it. <laughs> and when I was drawing it up, yeah. I used Google Earth and oh, yeah. measured it and I knew it was like right at the tree and right yeah. at the tree. You got a fun You're a good helper. <laughs> Is that in there? I know. Pretty disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> 